Well, this is a very simple tutorial on how to use FileZilla FTP client. Now, if you've already received the email on this, then you know how to download the FileZilla client. Uh, it's a fairly easy program, and if you if you have received the instructions or didn't read it for any reason, if you just type in FileZilla to Google, it'll be the first thing that comes up, and you'll want to download the FileZilla client. It's a pretty quick download, fairly small file, so this won't take up a lot of space on your computer. Now, assuming you've already done the download, you can see your FileZilla icon on the screen will look something like this, an FZ and kind of a red stamp. Double-click that, and within a couple of seconds, it'll open up your FTP client there it is okay so what you'll see with our FTP client here is a couple things first of all I'm gonna go ahead and make this a bigger screen for you you will see that you've got a couple of different options across the top you've got host and you've got username and you've got password and then the port number so a couple things we can tell you right off the bat no matter who you are the host is always going to be webtalkradio.net so let me type this in for you here webtalkradio.net so no matter who you are it's always going to be webtalkradio.net okay so we've got that typed in now your username will vary for the purposes of this example I'm just going to use our default one which is getting started but you'll have seen in your email what your username is and I'm going to go ahead and punch in our password here. And again, your password will vary. So uh, go with whatever password that you've been provided. And our port is also always going to be the same. Port is always going to be 21. So once you've inserted webtalkradio.net into your host name, getting started in my case, but whatever your username is, whatever your password is, and 21 for the port number, you're going to go here and click on the Quick Connect link, which I just did. And then what should happen here is on the right side of your screen, this was empty a second ago, this screen will now have a whole bunch of files in it, although if it's a new folder for you, you'll actually probably only see one file, which would be uh, the main file, and there will be a future shows folder there for you as well. Anytime you're uploading a show, you're going to want to go ahead and put it into the future shows folder. So if you have a future shows folder, you're going to want to double click on that folder and then download your programs into there. I should say upload your programs into there. But let's just take a quick look at the basis of our screen here. On the left side, this is basically an entire reflection of everything that is on your computer. Uh, it is a mirror image of what's on your computer. Think of it this way. This top box is kind of the broad category. So there's a desktop category. There's your, uh, your C drive, which is your hard drive, your general computer, your My Documents. These are the, kind of the big folders. And then down here are the more specific files that live within those folders. So let's say I just wanted to go to the C drive. I would, or actually, let's do it a little easier. Let's just say I want to go to the desktop. So up here at the top, I would click, double click on desktop and down below you would see all the files that are living on my desktop now one of these files for me is a test audio file and that's the one that I'm gonna go ahead and give you a sample download for right now so in this top, I would click double click on desktop and down below you would see all the files that are living on my desktop now one of these files for me is a test audio file and that's the one that I'm gonna go ahead and give you a sample download for right now so in this case, here is my, here, I'm going to highlight it for you. Here's my test.mp3. Um, wherever you saved your, or exported, your audio file, it's living on your computer somewhere. I've put mine on my desktop. For you, it might be a special folder. It could be your My Documents folder. It could be uh, a dedicated folder that you've created just for your shows. But somewhere on your computer, you should be able to easily identify where you saved your show. So I saved my show to the desktop, and I just highlighted where it is. So now, if you want to get this show from your desktop over to our FTP server, and again, your desktop and your computer files are on the left, our FTP folder is on the right of the screen. Assuming you know where your uh, audio file is, all you will do is left click on it after you've highlighted it, left click, drag it over to the right, release the click, and you will start to see some movement across the top of your screen in this section here. 
And if it was a larger file, this was a fairly small file for me, down below you actually see a green progress bar. And the progress bar would be telling you how long you have left before uh, the download is complete. In my case, the download completed very quickly. I had a very small test file here. So down below you'll be able to see, well, you'll be able to see somewhat. There's our test file. So I have successfully transferred my test file from my desktop to the FTP site, and it's living right here. And that's all you have to do. Once your audio file is on our computer and our FTP servers, you don't have to do anything else from there except send us your show description. That's it. Once we've got your file, we don't need anything else from you. So if you've successfully completed the FTP transfer process, you're done for the week, assuming you've sent us your show description. So again, the main points of this are at the top of your screen, when you first open up FileZilla, you'll want to type in webtalkradio.net on the host name, whatever your username and password that were provided to you, and the port will always be 21. It disappeared here, but it will always be 21. And then once you've successfully completed that top section, you click on Quick Connect. At that point, you will see your FTP folder open up. You'll probably see only two files in there the first time you do this, which would be your main folder and a future shows folder. You'd open up your future shows folder. Then you'd refer back to your computer. Everything on the left half of the screen are files living on your computer. You would find whichever audio file you wanted to send us. You would highlight it. You would left click, hold the click, drag it to the right, release the click, and then if it was a large file at the bottom of your screen, you would see a green progress bar uh, letting you know how long you have left until you've completed the upload. And that's it. So if the written instructions didn't help you, and if for whatever reason this video didn't answer all your questions, always feel free to give us a call, and uh, we'll work it through for you. So this was our FTP uh, uh, sample. This is our FTP instructional video. Hopefully it was beneficial for you. And again, if you have questions, always feel free to let us know.